Oh yeah, you got like that, that tool you were asking about here. Here's another one. That's nice. So, you know. Here's Holy moly, you got quite this the... This uh, one, I can't remember what that one was from. Looks like a ball hitch, doesn't it? Yeah, it's that, not. It's yeah. it's a it's a purpose of purpose made tool. Oh, yeah. been collecting yeah, for a long and time, then, eh? And then these, these oh guys, yeah. Hey, yeah. see what I said about the rust? Oh, it just God. just happens real fast. It, it's way better now than now that it was. Um, but yeah. Oh, and here's the other one. Yep. Yeah, here's another one. That is the, there's the flat top, not the dome. So, yeah, like, um, and I mean, like, like everybody else, you know, I make tools as well. Yeah. You know, probably haven't used this thing in a decade, but whatever. It's, it is what it is. Um, guys like this. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, they come in handy. Like, you sit there and go, wait a minute. I had, I had that. And, of course, I've got two, three of these guys. Um, and these are nice. Yeah. Though this one is this one always confuses me as to yeah. why it's so tall. Like it's it's heavier on that side than it is on the cutting side. So I never really understood that part. But oh, whatever. I actually yeah. picked myself up one like that. That's ap just a massive thing. And I can't remember where I got it, but the guy was telling me it was used for cutting railroad track. Really? Yeah. It's almost as big as a sledgehammer. Oh, okay, that'll yeah. do it. Well, yeah, so one guy holds it and the other guy hammers it. With a sledgehammer. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. You imagine how hard that damn thing is to cut railroad track. Right. I mean, railroad track is mild, but I mean, there's a limit, you yeah. know? So. Cool. Yeah. What else can we talk about in mm -hmm. here? It's up to you, man. Well, I'm not the one doing the interview. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You got a nice <laughs> swage block in here full of tools. Do you find you use your swage block for much of anything? Uh, no, but when I need it, it's damn handy to have. Yeah, eh? Yeah, really handy to have. Just for rounding things. Yep. Oh, this is cool. It's got a uh, hex side yeah, to got, it, too. Uh, so it's got two round hex and triangle. That's beautiful. The one I just picked up doesn't have hex on it. Oh. It's all round and I've never used triangle. the hex, not yet. But, okay. You know, who knows? I usually use the round or sometimes the uh, the triangle. Right? Yeah. The triangle side you use for squaring things up, or uh, or, um, or triangle making a triangle. Okay. So. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it makes. That's the thing, is it? Like, and I always tell people, it's like, look, it's not the tools that make the craftsman, but decent tools really make your life a whole lot easier. Oh yeah. So. Oh yeah. Um, but and, and like and like I don't know about you, but like I've seen I don't know. I won't say like lots of guys, but I've seen several that sit there and they go, "Oh yeah, yeah, no, I bought, uh, I bought me all this," and then, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna be a great blacksmith," and I barely knew which end of the hammer to hold. You know? <laughs> it's like, you no, know, really. I mean, it's okay, fine, but like I'm, I'm telling you, like the, your tools are not; these tools are not gonna make your life any easier if you don't know how to use them. Yeah, you know? and well, could probably make things worse because all you do is rely on. Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, how, how long have you had the trip hammer for now? Uh, three years now. And before that, you never had any power no, hammer. I never had a power. It's all by hand. Never had a power hammer. Yeah. And now I use it. I still use it. Uh, like I use it for for big stuff. Yeah. Uh, because about four years ago, I fell down the stairs. I don't know if I told you, I dislocated and fractured yeah. this shoulder, and I still feel it. Um, I still feel, and will forever. But yeah, it's yeah, for the rest of my days, really. Um, and so this thing comes in real handy when I want to when I want to flatten something big out uh, or stretch it or whatever. Um, yeah, she, she comes in real handy. Oh. I'm, I, would, like, I was in the process of building myself a tire hammer. I've got the majority of it finished besides the mechanics of it. Mm -hmm. And just talking to everybody about having a tire hammer or uh, any sort of power hammer in general, even a press, it's like, you got to learn how to use that yeah, hammer yeah, first. Yeah, you betcha. Hand yeah. hammer. Yeah. So, well, the first one I ever used... Um, in early, uh, we were at the, um, they hired me to be the blacksmith at the North Dakota State Fair one year. Okay. Uh, there was a rendezvous, like 1800s, like, you know, like, uh, muzzleloader guys and stuff. So they wanted a blacksmith. So, okay. And they, they, they paid me a bit. It was an honorarium and it wasn't bad. So I went out there and then on this one day I just went and they, and somebody came by like of the group and they said, Oh, by the way, there's a. There's like a little village over there, and they've got a blacksmith there, so I went over to talk to him. 
and they had all the tools run off a jack shaft, which yeah. was really cool. That's and the guy was sitting there going, and he's going, oh yeah, and he's sitting there, like puts it on, and he's just a bang, 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 bang. Like, stop, oh, stop, stop! No, you no. never, ever, ever no, let no. the hammer and the anvil hit, hit together. He's just like, what? I said, you're gonna break it, man. Here, I'll show you. So he heated up a piece of metal, and I, I you know, I, I just turned a piece of round square. That was it, sort of thing. And then I said, here, is, is there any wood around here? And he goes, yeah. So I lifted the thing, put it in. That's what you put between it. You put a piece of wood, you know, that kind of thing. If you want to show it off, put a piece of two by four in there and let that, right. you know, let it, lie, rah, 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 you know, show people how, how nasty it can be. And that's it. Leave the piece of wood in there. Never, he goes, oh, wow, okay, good. Thanks for telling me. Jeez. Holy cow. And the other thing, too, is that his, uh, the well up here and the one here were completely bone dry. Okay. I said, this thing has to be dripping with oil, pal, you know, unless you want to, you want to replace those, those. Uh, the, the bushings every every couple of years, so bushings are uh, brass bushings. Right? Yeah, uh, originally it would have been pavit like lead, okay. uh, but these ones have been replaced. And I don't know when, but they're they're bronze. Oh, <coughs> they're bronze bushings. Lead bushing. Hey. Yeah, oh, they're great. Yeah. Oh, they're amazing. Yeah, they're really wonderful. Good luck trying to get somebody to machine or even cast uh, lead for you these days. Nobody will do it, right. and nobody wants to be exposed to it. Right? Okay. So, you know, it, Ah, people Would you are, say the brass ones are better? Or? Bronze, yeah. Or bronze? Yeah, okay. bronze are, oh, and aren't better than lead, yeah. but they're damn good. Okay. They're really good. Okay. So, yeah, as long as you keep them oiled and greased, you're mm. absolutely fine. So, yeah. Let's see. Um, I mean, if you're getting cold.